It's five to four at the halftime of Counter-Strike Source, and we're about ready to jump into the second half. We'll take a quick look at the scoreboard once again. There it is, 12 to 16 right now. Optics still with the lead by four points, slowly but surely chipping away. Inching. And we've still got a half of Counter-Strike as well as that Dead or Live male matchup. So. As soon as they get started. Let's just talk a little bit. Now, remember, they're going to be switching sides. Right. Chicago will be playing as the CT, as the defense. Their opponent, uh, will, San Francisco, will be playing now as the terrorists. Yep. So well, we're still on nuke. No changes there at all. And it looks like these guys are pretty much rearing and ready to go. And as you can see, optics, again, the terrorists. And uh, counter-terrorists, Chicago. So Chicago's got to set up some really fantastic defense here and try to shut down optics. It's going to be... It's going to be, I, I, you know, I, Optics was so great yeah. yesterday in yeah. Inferno. And remember, we were like, Optics is definitely going to have the best CT mm -hmm. in Inferno. And they did. But then they came back and they oh, had yeah. a rock and T side uh -huh. as well. So the same thing could happen. I, I wouldn't necessarily say that they've got the, the best amount of rounds on the CT side. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they might bring it back uh, completely here on the T side. So we're going to open it up real quickly here. There we go. All right, now we're set. Oh, wow. The Bears is going to get an off shot on Mo and GRT. We just saw him get that one on Stevenson. Takes Stevenson out of the picture. Lari takes out War Machine. And uh, now it is just up to Clown and GRT as well as actually he's still got uh, three members left. There's still one more. Paradox as well. I don't see where the bomb is, though. Switching between the Optics players. Where did that bomb? The bomb must have gotten uh, put down actually from the outside. GRT already went out and picked that one up. So it's a three on three, four situation right now. So Optics with the man disadvantage. They're going to make their way through the map room. And it looks like they are going to rotate through the ramp room. And possibly go and attack A from this ladder. GRT is going to go up, and uh, Han was there waiting for him. Clown knows that Han is there because he just took out GRT. He's going to fire up. Oh, Han wow. takes Clown out as well. It's now going to be up to Paradox. Paradox takes out Han, and that is going to be Chicago's Chicago. round right there. It's going to now make it 6-4 to four in favor of Chicago. Good pickup for them right now. And remember, they need to win this one and yeah. rely on Black Mamba in order to take a victory. It would also mean the first defeat for Optics this season. Yep. They are currently 2-0 right now. And let's follow this Optics team as they definitely set up differently. Now, Susie, I, I, I know that you know Counter-Strike isn't exactly uh, a game that, that you go home and play 24-7 and well, everything. at least like 20 hours, not 24 and, and hours. Definitely getting, <laughs> definitely getting into the CGS. I know that you've you've learned more about mm -hmm. it and, and that you've gotten to see. What do you think about the the extreme differences between the teams in terms of their strategies and how they play? Where some are fast and some are slow. And I, I find it interesting that there's multiple strategies being called in any particular round of play. It's like okay, well you don't call one strategy and you just run that hole for the entire round. It's like okay, this okay, oh they're doing this, right, let's do this now. So that I find that dynamic I find interesting. But it's also funny because it's, they also fuse the other games borrow from this because the same DOA, you know, Forza, they all have their different strategies that, you know, all these games can kind of like implement. And uh, you're absolutely right. And seeing the, the mesh and the meld of those, I'm sorry, I was following Mo right no, there. Okay. And uh, Mo had some great shots right there. And another one. I can't believe it. Stevenson was just sitting there. He was waiting for Mo to get back in the position. Mo finally got to take it out. Wow. But Laurie with the shot on Mo wow. as he comes downstairs. Chicago picks it up. And that was a fantastic round for Chicago. That's also going to make it 7-4 to four right now. They're three wow. rounds away from possible victory, Swoozie. And addition you know, at this point in time, this is where you sort of separate the team mentality of Counter-Strike into the team mentality of the CGS and the way that the scoring works. Because right now, Chicago, they, they're setting themselves up for a possible victory, right? right? right. But more importantly, they're setting themselves up for those lost points that yeah. some of the other games, need, you know, where they needed to make up. So uh, there are th there's a lot of weight riding here on the Chicago team, and they're either going to make it very hard or very easy for Black yeah. Mob. 
combo going into Dead or Live Mail. And additionally for Ninja CW, right? Well, yes, Counter-Strike seems to be like the equalizer here at the CGS. So, I mean, you have those uh, moves in DOA, that like, the Azuna drop, when Hayabusa is down in health, he does that Azuna drop, it equalizes the health situation. Right. Same here with Counter-Strike. It seems like this is the team franchise equalizer. Well, look at what Optics is going to do right here. We saw Chicago in a similar situation in the last matchup, and they're going to go ahead and just take it downstairs. Han is going to find Mo, and I believe Mo was just watching on the outside. Let's find GRT just went down. Paradox gets taken out as well. Clown maybe the last man standing. DeBears is going to drop him. War Machine still alive, and he's got the bomb on his back. DeBears uh, had a nice pistol shot there, wow. and Han gets another nice pistol momentum, shot man. on War Machine, and this is good momentum. Now, this is obviously an area of Chicago. Chicago has definitely practiced up on their CT strats yeah. on Nuke, um, and you can definitely, you know, Optics has toned it down a little yeah, bit yeah, now that, yeah. you know, but once they get that round, yeah, it's going to be close loud. your ears, yeah. right? Uh, eight to four is the score right now. Two more rounds, and Chicago will have officially won the Counter-Strike match. However, they want to go beyond that. Yeah, they want to think that they need 14 yeah. rounds to win, yeah. and that's the, that's the mentality that I would be trying to get into. We're not going to win with 10. We're going to no. win with 12 because, again, it comes down to that team scoring. So here's Clown uh, and the rest of the Optics team moving into position here. Clown takes a little bit of damage from a grenade there, and that smoke is making it very difficult to see. But as he goes in, it looks like no one is there to sort of retort against this attack. Let's see what the rest of this team are doing. GRT's on the outside. He sees one, fires away at a couple bullets, and now he's going to try to flip out an HE grenade. Here's Mo on the outside. He's going to try to stick around and see if he can't keep that shot going. Looking around the side. Let's go see where GRT went. Mo watching from the outside. He dropped that smoke so he can get across there with no problem. Oh my goodness. No way. Stevenson, the Bears all getting a piece. Mo's now going to make his way into the garage. He fires away and Laurie takes him go. out. There we go. And we're on game point here for Chicago go. here, Swoozy. Here we they've go. got to win this round to win the Counter-Strike match, but more importantly, they've got to win the rounds after it to get points for the franchise. To get points for the franchise. That is absolutely correct. So right now, it is nine to four here in Counter-Strike. We're in the second half. And uh, wow, I mean, Chicago's taken down basically every single round here in, the, uh, in this half. So now, can you confirm or deny this? I mean, I know that a lot of the Counter-Strike fans joke about this, but do you run faster with just a knife? Yes. Okay. It's not a joke, Susie. <laughs> it's not a joke. No, I hear, I hear a lot of jokes in, on the internet about you run faster with a knife. That's that's <laughs> where it comes from. It comes from 1.6, and, and uh, you do indeed run faster with your knife. So Stevenson getting a piece of clown right there. We saw clown go down, no problem. GRT now going to send out a flashbang as he's trying to make his way into this ramp room with the rest of the Optics team. Looks like they're successful, but Laurie from the side, where was he? There he is. He was actually downstairs. I can't believe he made that shot, but now what he's going to do is because he thinks that they're all coming down the ramp room, he's retreating back a little bit. And if it, Oh, and he even shoots out that window to get himself um, into position. Now, a smoke has been dropped here, so that means that these guys are definitely moving in here. GRT is going to be covering this side. Who's covering the other side? Here, that's where Laurie is right now. Oops, Paradox go, go. saw him. Laurie took him out with the pistol, but now War Machine knows exactly where he is. He's going to go ahead and try to fake the plant and go for it again. Oh, well, no. Trip came out from the outside, but GRT still alive. He's going to come downstairs. He knows that there's still one more down there. And the target has been saved. So even though they took out GRT, target has been saved. And that means Chicago uh, technically wins Counter-Strike for the team. 10 to 4. Wow. Yeah, 19 to 16 total now. That's, that's interesting. Yeah. That is very, very interesting. 18, 16, excuse me. Yeah, so here we go. Now we're in the other round. So how, how many rounds have been played? 14 rounds have been played. So there's still four points up for grabs. Right now, Optics, San Francisco needs these. They need bad. these points, but of course, Chicago can give themselves a little bit of breathing room when yeah. it comes to Dead or Live Mail yeah. if they could pick up a few more. What Chicago or what Optics definitely doesn't want to see happen is Optics doesn't want to see Chicago get enough points that it would make it impossible yeah. for Ninja CW to win this one. Correct. However, we do see Optics make their way quickly into this bomb site now. GRT moves all the way back, and it's going to be a lot of pistols here for the Optics team. Uh, as GRT is defending this bomb site, Laurie gets a nice op shot there on War Machine. A one on one, one on four situation, and the Bears drops GRT. It is now 11 to four in this matchup, and that 
We have Cat Hunter just telling our team, guys, just 19 play 19 to smart. 16 total. Yeah. 18 to 16 total, excuse me. And uh, that means that Chicago is getting those points that they need. And uh, they've also got the lead right now with those extra rounds that they've been able to pick up on Counter-Strike. So they are going to set themselves up for a good position uh, as far as Black Mamba is concerned. Wow, DeBear's getting one, two, three shots there. Let's go move back over to him. No, two shots. He took out Clown and I believe he took out GRT. So DeBear's is going to give a nice advantage here for the rest of the Chicago team. Here's GRT with a Glil on the outside. And a Glil typically means that he has, uh, did not have enough money to buy a weapon. Ah, he picks up that off and headshot Stevenson from the outside. And he's looking around for more here. It is a two on three situation. And the bomb is in the hands of this man right here. Paradox, you can see he doesn't have a whole lot of health. And this is gonna be very, very hard. There's 19 seconds left on the round clock. So they've either gotta somehow get this plant down instantly, or they've got to somehow kill the other three members. Now, GRT takes out one. He's got eight seconds to get this bomb down. Oh, he almost had on, takes out Paradox. It's just GRT left. The target's now been saved. The time is up, and a knife to the oh, throat God. of no. GRT no. from Trip. Not messing around. You want it? You want it? You want to know how you make uh, you make matters worse? How do you make you matters knife worse? Knife someone in the throat. That's what I've the heard. Final kill. That's what I've heard. Um, yeah. I, yeah, I've seen Complexity do it. It's it's pretty uh, humiliating. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of humiliating, and uh, that's just what. So optics, I heard Cat over there say, "Lock it down, guys. We got to get these ones. We we really got to pick it two up." Two more left, correct? That is correct. Two more rounds left, and uh, each round does count as a point to the overall score. So let's see what these guys are going to do this time. I, I thought that they have some really good setups here, but I just think Chicago's defense has been, you know superior yeah and this is not good for optics either no, look at this Chicago's you can see war roll. machine has uh, a ak but all the rest of them um they're all uh they're so deagles yeah clown is going to get a deagle shot on the bears that means that he'll have a weapon now stevenson dropped war machine that was the only member of optics who had a weapon laurie deagles mo back clown looks like he picked up an op that might have been the op that stevenson dropped He's gonna fire away with that thing and then uh, head into the A-bomb site. He's gonna send out a smoke first. And will he flash it? I saw he had a flash. Clown Op Stevenson. He pulls out his deagle. Paradox gets one as well. Wow. And Lari from the top. Unbelievable. A uh, yet okay. another round. And that was actually, if Optics would have picked that one up. There are Kool-Aid smiles all across Chicago's team right now. That would have been big. <laughs> it's getting loud and it's getting wild over here. Optics definitely needs to pick this one up. Black Mamba, it may come down to Black Mamba and Ninja CW. We'll be checking in with that scoreboard after this round is over. But this is the last round of the second half. Clown with the bomb in his hand. There, it looks like they're all weaponed up now. Let's see where they are. It looks like Bears. the Bears took out Mo. GRT with that Galil and Clown still watching over here. On the outside, GRT continues to do something here with Paradox. Not quite sure what they're attempting to do. Clown continuing to try to make those op shots. Here, Paradox setting up as well. Moe's already been taken out. Lari will drop Clown, so that's just going to leave GRT and Paradox. GRT drops to Bears. That was a nice little shot. Trip is going to find... Paradox to take him out. And a nice shot there, there but Stevenson drops. Chicago. GRT and Chicago wow. wins it. And they not only win it, they dominate. They that one. crush. They absolutely crush, Swoozy. Wow. Um, unbelievable. Like we were talking about, man, that momentum in Counter Strike is unbelievable. Yeah, and you know, I mean, you, you, you got to think, like, we saw Optics perform fantastic last right, night, right? right? You know, a lot of times, different teams are better at different maps. Mm -hmm. uh, different teams excel, like, you know, on CT or T, but here's the scoreboard. Oh we said that Counter Strike goodness. could bring it back in favor of Chicago Chimera, and we were not lying to you, were we, Swoozy? Uh, no, I mean, Ninja CW now has to 5 -0. He has to 5 0 Mamba Black Mamba in order to tie it, which would then take it to one additional round in overtime in dead or alive mail and uh, 21 to 16. 
and, and I can't believe it. You know, they had seven points Flip early the on. the scripts, man. Then they went to five points, and it, they did definitely flip the script right there. That was a nice, nice, nice job there by the Chicago Chimera. I'm very impressed I, with I that right well. there. Wow, it's all, right. all comes down to DOA. Yep, it is going to come down to Dead or Live Mail. But, but first, we've got our sideline reporter, Cami, with general manager, Brian Flander. Cami? Thanks, Marcus. Okay, Brian. Uh, San Francisco came on really strong at first. I want to know what you guys did in order to uh, come at them and be able to stand up against them. Uh, after the loss on Monday, my team took it to heart, and we, uh, we prepared probably more than we ever have for this match. And uh, I think it really showed with the Counter-Strike guys. And, you know, that's just one of the benefits of having such a well-rounded and talented team is, you know, if one person falls, you have other people that can pick them up. All right, well, that was a very, very well-deserved win. Congratulations to you and your guys, and um, good luck. Thanks, Cami. It definitely was a deserved win. There's no doubt about it. Chicago, they powered through it. And then that second half, they came to basically stake their Chicago Chimera flag yeah, onto the moon of the optics. <laughs> and uh, it's going to come down to dead or alive mail. But we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, it's 21 to 16. Can Ninja CW do the unthinkable and 5-0 Black Mamba? You'll have to stick around to find out. Ow! 